Hello, welcome to the part one of the introductory video about ROCAD and RO, which are SCS modules for designing an analysis of electromagnetic interference between electric power lines and adjacent installations, such as pipelines. In part one of this tutorial, we learn how to design a system in ROCAD, then we generate the regions, and finally we build the circuit. In this video, we use the example in ROCAD Quick Start Guide which consists of a shared corridor between a pipeline and two transmission lines. Pipeline parallels a 375 kV transmission line for almost 5 km and a 69 kV line for 2.5 km. First, click on the SCS software and open the Tools folder. Then, click on the ROCAD icon. This will launch the program. ROCAD launches on the new project page. Enter the project and scenario name, followed by the system unit and frequency. You can also write in the project and scenario descriptions. Then click on Create. A ROCAD project consists of designing panels and tabs, a graphical area with its toolbar, quick access ribbon with main project buttons, remaining issue list to show the errors, warnings, and messages, and the computation trace. Let's get started. From the project settings, set the system units according to your preferences. Here we use metric. When a polyline is already available as a syscat file, you can import it by clicking on the Import Polyline button and choose the appropriate MOLS file. Polyline is now displayed in the viewer area. You can customize the color of the polyline and also its name. Another way of specifying a polyline is through the Polyline Coordinates window. Here we copy-paste the coordinates data from an Excel file. Since this polyline is used to specify a transmission line, the point type can be changed to tower. Click on the first and last cell while holding the shift key, then press F2 to enter the edit mode. Select tower and press enter. Click on the view recentering button to have the complete view of the system. For the 69 kV line, we enter the coordinates manually. This transmission line has an average span length of 100 meters. In order to break the polyline, right-click on the polyline, then from Tools menu, choose Break Polyline at regular locations. From this window, choose the Break Distance and click on Break Polyline button. You will see new nodes are added to the Polyline Coordinate window. Next step, we enter the phases that will represent the system in the circuit model. Add 11 phases and rename them as shown. Next step is defining the cross-section which provides the configuration associated to each polyline. Add a new cross-section for each polyline defined in the system and rename them accordingly. Then click on the Define button to invoke SCS Cross-Section Editor. The Cross-Section window opens to perform the cross-section definition. Add a location for each of the components forming the cross-section of this transmission line. Rename 2 for shield wires and 3 for phases. Then enter the coordinates. Note that the positive Y coordinates means the right and negative Y coordinates means the left direction as seen by a person standing on a polyline and looking in the direction of increasing node numbers. Now assign characteristics to the components made of simple conductors. Link the locations to a component type. Here we'll create component types directly from the database. 
The SCS library will open with its Category Filter Welcome screen. Select AlumaWeld from Conductor Class drop-down menu. Choose your conductor and then click Import. Then select the appropriate entry for the associated phase list in order to convert the physical word conductor to circuit word phase representation. Similarly, create another component type for the rest of the phases. Next, add two new cross-sections with appropriate names, one for the pipeline and one for the transmission line, and define the associated cross-sections and phases. Next step to assign the cross-sections to the system's polylines. Click on the plus sign button under the affected segments column. Then select the desired polyline and range of segments where the cross-section should apply, and click the add button. You can also do this by clicking on the cross-section icon in the graphical toolbar and choose the cross-section to be assigned. Then the mouse pointer will be adorned with an icon showing the current assignment mode. Click on the first node of the polyline, and then click on the last node of the polyline. Next, navigate to the phase leakage panel and specify the impedances to ground of the various structures of the system. Select the desired unit and type in the desired value. You can always view your design model in SESCAP. It displays not only the system as it relates to polylines, including detailed conductor types, but also shows the entities in their correct locations. It also displays simplified tower models, where tower points are found along the polyline. For the next step, click on the Central Site and Terminals tab. Enter Central Site name, Ground Resistance, and Reactance. Click on the Edit Central Side Impedance button for the definition of the grounding and connection impedances of all phases at the central side. For central side assignment, click on its icon on the toolbar menu. The mouse will be adorned with central side icon. Then click on the first node of the pipeline. Then click on the second node of 375 kV line reserve its first node for terminal assignment. Do the same thing for the 69 kV line. Next, add two terminals and give them a more meaningful name, for example, feeding substation names or direction of terminals with respect to cardinal points. Click on the energization button of Terminal 1 and add grounding impedance of the polylines. Since pipeline is not energized, choose Open Status. For the first run of the model, we temporarily disable the double wire mitigation arrangement to see if a single wire is sufficient by setting its energization status to dummy. In this example, we'll place the voltage sources for the transmission lines in terminal east and the load of the line will be placed in terminal west. Similarly, enter the energization for terminal west. This is the load side. In the remaining issued list, there is an error message that indicates the terminal name exceeds the 12 character limit. Here we make the name shorter. The error message disappears. From the graphical toolbar, click on the terminal icon and choose the terminal to be assigned. The mouse pointer will be adorned with an icon showing the current assignment mode. Click on the last point of the 375 kV line. Then click on the last point of the pipeline, and at the end, last point of the 69 kV line. Similarly, select the second terminal, which is the west terminal, and assign it to the first point of the 375 kV line. 
Now, a main path can be chosen as the basis for subdividing the system into circuit sections. Click on the main button on the graphical toolbar. Then click on the 375 kV line. Stars appear at the nodes of the polyline forming the main path. Soil structures need to be assigned along the right of way. The assignment is made to the main path. Navigate to the main soil and attribute set mapping panel. Click twice on the add button under the soil definition group to add two soil structures. You can either import an already defined soil structure or you can specify the soil from a resub file. Assign the soil structures to the polylines forming the main path using the plus button. By hovering over soil definition file, a preview window shows the defined soil structure. Now that our system is defined and there is no task in the remaining issue, we can generate the regions. After regions are generated, we can directly create circuit in ROCAD. Click on the Create Circuit Quick Access button and choose Rebuild the Whole Circuit model. Then click Apply. You can view and examine the circuit in GRSplits 3D directly being accessed from ROCAD. Then save your raw scenario and launch row for the analysis of different steady state and fault cases. Thank you for watching. Watch part 2 of this video tutorial for step-by-step -step guidance for SCS right-of-way module.